What is good? With y'all, WJ Gang. And I'm back again with another reaction. And as I can see by the title, today we got when maintenance crew cleans out your apartment before you move out. Hey, bro, another banger reaction for y'all, man. If y'all new to the channel, don't forget to smash that thumbs up. Share the video and subscribe. Don't forget to let me know how y'all enjoying these reactions in the comment section down below. So I can keep dropping more for y'all. And on the road to a thousand subscribers, man, I appreciate all the support that I've been getting on the channel for the past few days. Yeah, man, don't forget to smash that thumbs up if y'all new to the channel. And we're not about to say much. We about to hard stand to this reaction. Let's get it. On May 22nd, 2024, a bizarre turn of events unfolded in a Chambly, Georgia, apartment complex. A man facing eviction made arrangements with the leasing office to peacefully vacate the premises before the official eviction date. He even had a friend retrieve his belongings while he worked out of town. However, when the friend arrived, he discovered the locks had been changed and he couldn't enter the apartment. The next day, the manager unlocked the apartment for the friend, revealing a shocking sight. The place was completely empty. Yeah, the they took everything. FaceTime the victim, who then contacted a neighbor with a ring doorbell camera. The doorbell Ooh. footage provided crucial evidence. It clearly showed three individuals entering the apartment and leaving with the victim's belongings. The victim, armed with this video, contacted the police. The officer who responded. Nah, they dirty, but it's either about to sell them products or they about to do what they do with it but they still in the whole bed i can't see i sleeping on the bed right that the people already freaking slept on you feel me y'all be that down bad i can't get y'all a new bed bro but damn bro y'all took the flat that's that's the flashing tv possibly more the culprits three members of the apartment's maintenance crew upon right, what investigation about to do with that bed? the officer discovered a troubling pattern <laughs> Doing all right, how you doing? Okay. Hello. Are you Mr. Yes. Perfect. Are we able to have a meeting in the office? Come in here, it's a little messy. <clears throat> You know damn what they was doing. Now. If you're the manager of the apartment, and you clearly like you the head manager of the apartment, so you probably the landlord or something. So you know what I'm saying? You were there, mm hmm Like you didn't know that, that was happening, bro. Why would you take these people belongings anyway? Like that wasn't for you. What you about to do with them? Sell them? He went inside, stepped inside, and you were in there for about 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. So you know the belongings that were already inside. Mm -hmm. So when you look back, you know what was in there also. Mm -hmm. That's so correct. That, that's where we're at. Yeah, that's correct. Um, and you said you would bring the video so that I could see it and confirm who was what, who did what, right. so that I can address the proper people. So do you have that? Uh, I have the video, but I was told by 
Yeah, I told him um, right now it's a criminal investigation. Mm -hmm. So the a video criminal investigation, bro. Okay. Yeah, well, you know it's hello? you know it's real because a criminal investigation, bro. Like they're making that real. Like yeah, you don't just go in people's house and steal their belongings. Like come on, bro. Um. So I guess, and I've asked him, but I'm gonna start from um, the basic of building a case like this. Right? Mm -hmm. So to confirm with you, mm -hmm. was Mr. Black evicted from his unit? No. So he was not evicted. No, not yet. Okay. Were not there yet. Any maintenance orders that were put in that people were supposed to be inside the unit? No, sir. Okay. Um. How many maintenance people do you have on site? Three. Three. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you happen to have the names of those gentlemen? I do, yes. Are you able to provide that? Absolutely. Do you need their names, that's it? Names and birthdays, if you have them. I could probably find those birthdays. You can find somewhere. that. Oh. You can find that. Stop acting like you can't find that. Now go ahead and get these people their stuff back, because you know what they did, bro. Would you like their positions or that? Oh, that, that, yes, that's possible. Okay, cool. Look at that. She's helping out Is already. Good job. locked up now? Does your key still work to the unit? Do you know? Mm -hmm. Are we able to walk over to the unit just to yeah. take some photos and stuff? Yeah. Um, the only thing that was removed after the last time that we spoke was whatever that young lady took in the bag, and that was it. The officer accompanied the victim back to the apartment to investigate further. Yeah. Good thing. And I was going to say, good thing that neighbor had a doorbell, because they would have capped their ass off about, oh, we didn't do nothing, this and that. But y'all on camera, though. Y'all can't say y'all didn't do it. He said they stole food. <laughs> yeah, he said they stole food too. That's crazy. They stole food, like, Damn. <laughs> Them boys was hungry face out. <clears throat> That's a big uh, apartment though. What well, this is a two bedroom? It looks pretty big, I ain't gonna lie. This shit all over though, honestly, y'all clean it up. It probably must have been a mess in there before that, bruh. <laughs> Good boy, it had stuff everywhere, bruh. Even right now, it's stuff everywhere. But I understand, because they cleaned the apartment up now. But I was trying to see how it was before they moved out. Yeah. They took the TV. I kind of got the, I had to heard you there. Yeah. They the box was still up here behind the TV. Okay. I am my like, I don't cheat, though. My stuff. I'm sorry. Let's be tempted with you. You can't. It don't matter. You can only lock it from the inside. She left it. She knows. We'll walk up to the leasing office though now. Damn. Took all that boy's stuff, bro. I think they took the important stuff at that. TV, um, whatever. They took beds like, damn. And so, just to clarify, you do want to press charges, right? I do. Like, you want people arrested? Yes. Okay. Huh? So I make sure? Uh, you know, sometimes people say that and they don't realize. Uh, what it nah, is. but they took your stuff, bro. No, it's only right. I feel you. I'm just, 
I'm just doing my dot my eyes, crossing my T's. That's all. Cause I'd be I mean you can you handle on this uh, very well. I say you're handling it very well because I can't. Stay calm. That's how he kept telling me. He been telling me that for three days straight. Stay calm about the situation. Because in the end, right is right. Was that dumpster full three days ago or you don't know? Uh, I don't know. We can't lock the unit back. Okay, I got you. I don't think they throw this stuff away, did they? Because if they threw their stuff away, just like, why would y'all do that without my consent or permission? Bro, that's my stuff. I don't think they threw them away. We're going to keep watching this video and see what happens. You. I was talking to you. I'm sorry. I'll see you in, I'll see you in 20. Okay. 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 So I just got some more information. Okay. Um... One of those people on that list did admit to taking guns. Which, which gentleman is that? The last one, David. Is he still here? Yeah. Can I speak to him? Absolutely, let me back. What did he do with it is the question, bro. You could have taken it, but the question is, what did you do with it? You feel me? Because you cleaning up the apartment without my consent of telling you what to throw away and what not to throw away. Like, just let me come back in there and grab my stuff. When I fully move out the apartment, then y'all could send y'all cleaning maintenance crew out. You feel me? He, he said he stole out of the All he said was two things. That's all he said. I think it was the couch and the bed. That's all he said. He did not say anything else. Okay. Um, meet me at the office. That is dirty, bro. Because you want to steal somebody else's couch and a bed? Like, you never know what's on that bed, bro. Like, you never know what's on that couch. Like, you'd rather steal their couch in bed instead of buying you a new one. Come on, bro. That's disgusting, bro. Okay. He's on his way. Thank you. No, I'm going to talk with him. I can talk to him outside. Okay. okay. It's okay. Let me go check out what's going on over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Go ahead, lock you can just have a seat in the car. I'm going to uh, talk with him. And then we're going to go from there. I know, I know, but... Just, you know what I'm saying? You got you to let me... You, we here now, so you got to let me... It's like training day. You ever seen the movie training day? It's not what you know. What you can prove. So we gotta, we gotta handle it like that. Cause right now we know a lot, but we gotta. The first suspect admitted to taking the sofa and bed, claiming a misunderstanding with the manager. He believed the eviction had already happened and offered to return the items. It's too late now, bro. I don't need it no more. You done. So wait, the cleaning crew lives in the apartment. I ain't gonna lie, that's smart and crazy at the same time because you working in the complex that you live in, which is like completely crazy. I don't think I've never seen that before, but it probably happens. A lot of these places, the cleaning uh, eviction crew probably be staying in the complex, you feel me, which is understandable, but damn, there's no way I'm taking that couch back because you, it depends how long ago that happened because I don't know what you already did on that bed, what you done did on that couch. I don't want it back, you feel me? Yeah, but why would you take my stuff in the first place? Uh, down there locking up the unit. Oh, you, David? Yes, sir. All right, perfect. I'm Officer Black. There you go. City of Chandler. Right. Nice to meet you. Um, before we do any further, I'm going to read you something, okay? Everybody seen it on TV. Everybody probably knows it, but I got to read it to you, okay? What's this before you read it to the Because you do Miranda warnings. Let me, let me just explain myself. So. Uh, there was just a miscommunication, not on my part. Okay. I was told wrong information. I got you, but before we dive into that, let me read this to you, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you at government expense. <laughs> Bro. Knowing and understanding. Cut life. 
up. I had got myself into now because I'm telling this man is a misunderstanding, but he ran this Miranda to me. So it's like, I don't know, bro, what I'm about to do. Because he's reading this to me and it seems like I'm already in deep enough trouble, bro. He like, but we're going to see what them boys got right, charged with. I have, as I have explained them to you, are you willing to answer any questions without an attorney's presence? Hey, y'all. If y'all made it this far, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe. And if you new, do the same thing, man. Hit that subscribe button with the bell so you can know when I post, man. And we're going to continue watching this video. Okay, so that's a yes? All right, so you said there was some miscommunication yes. going on? Yes. Tell me about that. What's the miscommunication? I don't, don't want to throw nobody under the bus. That's fine. But I'm just uh, a follower of many things, but we got the message that there was going to be an eviction for today. I was okay. told to go ahead by my supervisor, Sammy. Let's go get it, take it out, hurry up before it hit the curb. So here are some people I can get. Everybody got stuff, not just me. But okay. I have the stuff. If you want it back, that's messed up. Give something, but okay. If you want it back, I give it back. No I problem. got you. And the same he work on site here too, or is he on yes, site? He's at the pool right now. Okay. Yeah. All right, Jabbar. And yeah, I'm don't. I'm not even gonna call that snitching because he is not snitching, and I completely agree with him. Like if I understand, like if you got the green light from somebody, oh yeah, he's getting kicked out, this and that. But in the first place, I wouldn't have one. Like any of that furniture, uh, maybe the TV is cool, but for you to take the bed, the couch, that's not stuff you could use, bro. You gotta think about it. People got different hygiene. You don't know what's on that couch, so it's like it would have been stuff that I did take and didn't take if somebody told me I could take it. Which he's completely saying that. It was a misunderstanding man, because the people told him that it was okay because Cut was getting evicted, which is not completely okay because if I'm getting evicted, I still got to grab my stuff from that place so I could go. You feel me? But on his part, he's not guilty to me. I ain't gonna lie. He's not guilty. I hope he don't get charged, bro. He just got his job done and he's being truthful about it. So, you feel me? I'm making this text, but me and Sammy went up there. I broke the sofa down. I got it in my crib. I live on property, but I just don't want him to know where I live. I got you. I got you. That's what we're doing. That's what we're okay. But I'm not a thief. You know, I work here. I just did good furniture, good, good stuff. And you were told there was going to be an eviction? Yes. And so before we hit the curve. He sent the message out. These are all the visions for Monday. We went in there Friday. So I got, got you. my brother. He got a truck. Oh, Monday, videos. Friday. So that's about a week. They're so. Everything from across. I stay in this building right here between me and you. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what it went. I know it's going to be an issue. I got you. I apologize. I got you. Yeah. Miscommunication. Yeah. And I'll talk to my man, but he was right there. I yeah, no, no. Nah, nah, you did no, no. You did the right thing. You did the right thing. You have your ID on you by yes, chance? Yes, I do. This is, this is bad, man. Wow. Well, in a sense, I'm going to tell you it is. I know. And the reason why, and I'm, I, I'm just a straight shooter. Like, I, I, I don't like the soften blows. I like people to just know what's going Please. on. Um, the reason why it's bad is because he was coming to get his stuff. Mm -hmm. Came to pick up his stuff on Saturday and everything gone. Um, and so you imagine, you know, it's, it's like right, you, you right. come home right. and somebody went and took your stuff. Um, I just got the bedroom set and the soap. Okay. Um, son, like a photograph, a positive. You're black. You're motivated. You know, that type so you said bedroom set and sofa. And so does the bedroom set include the um, nightstands? Yes. Okay. And that's all I grab. Headboard, mattress, box spring, rails, two nightstands. Okay. Um, like I said, I just know how to be blunt. Yeah. Right now, it's, it's burglary. Right, but we all grab. We all grab. Oh no, we got video. Okay. We got video. Okay. So everybody, everybody face on it? Clear as day. <laughs> Box showing, swinging, and everything. Damn. So, <laughs> yeah. It, it, it's. Maintenance team. Messed up. Everybody. I'm not um, And so now that I have that piece of information, because I'm a, again, I'm just a straight shooter. So I'm going to tell I'm you. I'm a straight shooter too. And she would have, I would have talked to her, I would have told her. I don't lie. So, so. With, with this piece of information, right, it changes some things. Um, because 
it changes some things with the aspect of orders and who was given because without this information with you know saying hey we got the eviction notices we were clearing them out whatever um all three of y'all were gonna get a warrant it was gonna be just straight straight like that and then i was gonna come back here later today with a van and everybody gonna get in a van and everybody gonna go to the cab county i'm just it, i'm just being honest with you um but that piece of information it changes some stuff Sorry, yeah, you so can... now I need to go talk to, you said Sammy is a supervisor? Yes. And he's by the pool right now? What does Sammy look like? He's Black a male? Or... Kind of, uh, slim guy with uh, locks. With locks? Oh, okay, he's the one with locks. Yeah. Who is he? Oh, there they go. Yeah, you see him? Uh-huh. So he talked to the man first and told him what happened to him. I'm I'm older than everybody out here. I'm 43. I'm out of time. I got family in there. Are they doing maintenance up in the pool right now, or? I'm trying to stay out of dogs, man. I'm probably gonna be fall guys. I ain't trying to be. No, you. I don't. I don't do fall. I don't do fall guys. I don't do fall guys. I do the whole team, or I do the one that I got the best case on. I'm just telling you straight up. The one in the league, he's by the door. That's. I'm gonna go talk with him. He might not get hit as much because, you know, like he said, he didn't have nothing to do with it. Well, he did have something to do with it, not like that, but I'm saying, like, he didn't have something to do with it as if, like, he just went in there and stole stuff. You know what I'm saying? I guess the supervisor that was like, okay, eviction time, so it's cool. Y'all can grab what y'all want. Even though, bro, like I said, I wasn't going to grab nothing because, like, I'm like, bro, I know Cut coming back for all his stuff. And if it looks like he coming back for all his stuff, if he left his TV, he left his bed, he left his a nightstand, like, come on, bro, you know he's coming back. I appreciate it. I really do. Like I said, it changes some things. Thank you. Mm-hmm. The second suspect, the crew supervisor, denied taking anything but trash. Doing how are you? Is your name Sammy? Can we talk? You mind talking with me? Yes, sir. Alright. I'm gonna read you something too, like I read everybody else. But you read me first. Give Miranda warnings. We'll go from there. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you at government expense. Knowing and understanding your rights as I have explained them to you, are you willing to answer any questions without an attorney present? Okay. All right. So, like I told everybody else, man, I'm just a straight shooter. I'm gonna just tell you how it is. Okay. Uh -huh. We have a tenant here uh -huh. that was, I guess, put on an eviction list. He's supposed to be getting evicted. Uh -huh. Um, he was told by property management that he'll have the weekend to retrieve his property from out the apartment. Okay. Over the course of the weekend, you and some other employees were seen entering him into his unit and grabbing his belongings. So, uh-huh. I didn't grab anything out of the unit or as his belongings, but it was trash. The other than that, I did not take anything. Okay, out of what, was trash? Trash, what was trash? As far as like the, the perishable, the food that he left out, uh -huh. just sitting right there, that was it. But okay. beside that. Okay. Was there an eviction notice or? It was yeah. a, so, I was off for a couple of days last week. Okay. So when I got back that Friday, um, see the message, went up there, peeked my head in, bugs, gnats, et cetera, trash. I don't touch stuff when it comes to eviction, like their personal property. Okay. But no, sir, I didn't do that. Okay. Now, hey. again, I stayed. All I had to got was some trash. Besides that, I don't have any of this stuff. Any of his at all. Okay. Is it normal to go Hey, we don't know if Cuz lying or anything like that, but if he don't sound like he's lying, but I'm saying he might just be straight because all he did was grab the uh, leftover food, so that's fine. As long as you ain't grab no personal belongings, you should be straight. 
but we don't know what they still gonna get hit with or anything like that hopefully nobody ain't get charged hopefully it's a misunderstanding from like you know the crew members and or whatever hopefully it's not no theft or robbery but yeah man i feel like it's not because they were just maintenance crew cleaners you feel me it's not like they came in there like take them like that older guy said it was a misunderstanding of them saying it's okay to do it you feel me so if you get the green light, you're going to do it. You just a worker, but if uh, a person that's higher than you, like your supervisor, says it's okay, it's okay. You feel me? An eviction notice coming out, like to so, see your head in? So, yes, it's normal for me to walk the units. Okay. But as far as, like, just going into the units, like, nah, but trash-wise, as far as refrigerators, yeah. stoves, appliances, stuff like that, yes. But besides that, no, sir. Okay. All right. Um, what did you tell anybody else that they can go and get permission to go into the unit and oh, no, sir. take belongings or anything like that? No, sir. Why would I do that? Okay. Right. People do different things, man. I, no, I don't try to understand the human mind. Um, Touché. But definitely, no. Do you know if anybody else went to the unit and grabbed so, items? From what was told to me. Okay. It was happening at 11 o'clock at night or whatever time of whatever it was. Mm -hmm. But as far as me physically seeing anybody, no, sorry. Dude. So I can't say, hey, I seen X, Y, and Z because I didn't see X, Y, and Z. Do you have your ID on you? Yeah, I do. Perfect. And then you said all you took was trash out there. That's trash. Perishable. Perishable. Nothing. Worth the value. Nothing worth value. Because you had gnats and bugs and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, nothing worth value. It wasn't. Look at me. Like it wasn't nothing. I it wasn't nothing. Anymore. Just to confirm, you didn't tell anybody else. No sir. Y'all can go in the room no, and sir. or the apartment and no, sir. have at it. No sir. So, like I've been telling everybody else, so right now is being investigated as a burglary case. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Because even if they sent out an eviction saying or a letter saying, "Hey, we want to start the eviction process on these units," mm -hmm. you still got to go through the process before belongings get right. transferred out right. of right. units. Right. Um. When you start the process, that's when you can change the locks. Right. Deny them access or right. unsupervised access. They, 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 um. Them. And so. You know, it's like anybody, man. You come home and all your shit gone, you'd be upset. Yeah. yeah. And so that's 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 what it's that's what it is right now. Right. As um, it should be. So I'm just trying to piece some stuff together. Right, but that's 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 mind boggling. Man. So some another adult could say, I said, Hey, go have it and like no. That I'm not saying that, I'm just I was told you were the supervisor. I am. But so, at the same time, I got a lot hanging over my head just because of the title. Yes, and okay. the title. So, yeah, no. Right. Sir, would you mind talking with me? Sure. All right, cool. I'm going to read you something. I read it to Sammy. I read it to everybody. Let's protect you and make sure I'm doing my job correctly. All right, it's just your, it's your Miranda warnings. If you ever seen any kind of cop show, TV show, you know it, you've heard it, but I got to read it all the way through, okay? Right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you at government expense. Knowing and understanding your rights as I have explained them to you, are you willing to answer any questions without an attorney present? Go ahead, man. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Appreciate it. Yeah, sure, why not? Okay, perfect. So... I'm not, I don't like to assume anything, so I'm going to just tell you why I'm even asking. It's a little hot. I appreciate it. Yeah, come over here. The third suspect, despite being caught on camera carrying a TV, insisted he only changed the locks and checked the unit's condition. So, <laughs> he lit like that type, bro. <laughs> he lit like, it'd be the big niggas, bro. You got caught and you still lying, dog. Like, just go ahead and spill it, bro. 
you gonna get yourself in more trouble. Like, they tell you, yeah, I tell the TV, I could give it back. Like, you know, it's a misunderstanding. You would have been, been a bit off line and saying it's a misunderstanding, just like the other guy. Not saying he lied, but I'm just saying, like, if you would just say you didn't take nothing, you just changed the locks, bro, come on. You on camera, bro. You going to jail. Now, it's essentially a burglary, all right? Yes, sir. Certain things have come to light during the course of me asking people what happened. But the original complaint is a gentleman was called, said, hey, we're going to start the eviction process, right. but we'll allow you to get your stuff out. Right. He set up to get his belongings out. Right. And while doing so, well, before the person was able to come and grab his belongings, his belongings were taken from his apartment. Right. Okay? There is surveillance footage that does show every maintenance personnel on this property entering that apartment and leaving with something. So I'm going to start with you from the basic. You know, did you enter the apartment? I'm saying, uh, it's procedure. Okay, what's you the know, procedure? You know, to go in there, you know, uh, trash out, you know, uh, you know, do maintenance requests and, okay. you know, stuff like was that. Was there a maintenance request? You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, you know, it was a main request, you know, to change the lock or whatever at the time. Okay. And, you know, it was the uh, main request, you know, to go out there, uh, you know, see what was going on, uh, you know, for trash and lock process and stuff like that. Okay, I got you. So, was that it? Just a maintenance request for the, the change of the locks and the, and to check the condition of the unit? Right. Was there anything that was requested to take the items from the new unit? No. Okay. Did you take any items from the unit? No. You sure? No. No, you didn't or no, you're not no, sure? No, sir, I did not. Okay. All right. So, if you on camera. I'm quite sure I'm here. You know what I'm saying? You but, know. But, but taking... Bro, for you to know that you took a TV and this police questioning you saying, did you take anything? You lying. And then he tells you you on camera and you proceed to lie. It's just crazy, bro. I don't understand. There's no point. I would have been like, yeah, I took the TV. I'll give it back right now, bro. Like, just take these charges off. Leave me alone. You feel me? Because what? I could go buy a TV, bro. Like, come on, bro. Just get a TV back. It's not for you. You didn't, you, you didn't buy it. I don't see how that could be possible. Because I don't got nothing in my possession said that I took anything, Officer Black. I, I didn't say you still got it in your possession. No, no, I'm just I'm saying. Asking if you took it. Well, you know what I'm saying? Saying that I took something? I'm asking. He's lying, bro. Nothing. And you know how I know when you know somebody's lying? When they get to, like, acting all innocent and flipping this thing on you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look what he said, bro. You know what I'm saying? Saying that I took something? I'm asking. No, I ain't take nothing. Okay. All right. Like, you feel me? He's so hostile. Like, nah, I ain't take nothing. Saying that I take something. Like, you feel me? Like, what, you, when you get to using the reverse flip card on somebody, like, oh, what you trying to say? You think I'm, I, I took something or something like that? You feel me? That's when you're wrong. And you actually took it. The, so somebody the going to jail. Into the unit was to change the locks. And to check the status of the uh, for you to see right. the condition of the unit. Right. Okay. And there was no order for anything to be removed from the apartment. You no. didn't take anything. No, sir. Okay. You have your ID on you by chance? Yes, sir, I do. Perfect. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Despite their justifications, the officer informed the victim he had located his bedroom set. However, the victim refused to take them back and wanted to press charges against all three individuals. Damn. I knew it, bro. Was I not literally saying that, y'all? I'm like, bro, I'm not taking that back. Like, I'm not taking that back. You probably already uh, farted on my couch, fix my bed. Like, no, homo, you know what I'm saying? Like, you probably did all types of freaky stuff on my bed, and I'm not with it, you feel me? So it's like... I don't want that bed, bro. You should never take it because you never know what I did on that bed. And you want to take my bed? Like, come on, bro. Niggas be slobbering all over the bed. Like, you know, all types of stuff, bro. You feel me? I said I want to press charges against all three. Oh, that boy in a big car, bro. What this is? No, it's a Dodge, but... 
Good tomorrow this is. Can't really tell with this one. I don't know if it's a charger. It might be a charger. And look at this sweet ass beamer right here, boy. Stop playing. It's beamer nice as hell right here. It's joint nice. I like the blue on his car though. It's fire. It's probably a charger. It Sorry, gotta be a charger. News, some bad news. Some news. That's, that's a good news. Good news. Bad news. bad news is I'm getting three different conflicting stories. Of course. Yeah. To be expected. Good news. I found your bedroom set, your sofa, and your two nightstands. If you want them back. I don't want them back. Or if you want to sell them. That was the offer that I was proposed to me to offer to you. All that I could do is tell somebody, no. hey, I'll, I'll let them know, but I paid for it. I paid for it. You hard truck. It was sitting for two days. That's money I lost. <laughs> you you got to take it. Yeah. I just, I'm a man of my words. Oh. If you say, hey, tell them. Hey, he a G though, cuz. Yeah, he's standing on business, y'all. I don't want them back, bro. Because I already paid for my U-Haul truck sitting here for two days, wasting my money, and then now y'all asking if I want them? Press charges. I'm going to tell them, and then it'll be up to them. Um, but I'm getting conflicting stories. I do have... The only thing that I do have is the amendments of each party entering into your unit. Um, right. So I'm gonna make some calls to CID, see how we wanna go and proceed from here. As far as do they wanna re-question them or if I have enough right now to just take in everybody. Um as far as I know right now you're good. If you wanna hang out, you can. I'm gonna hang out to and I wanna press charge if I'm not gonna I, I, I got, got you. I got you. I got you. Like I said, I'm just presenting you what I got right now. Yes, sir. That's it. Just the facts I was able to gather. Okay. Um, and we're going to go from there. So let me call CID, see what their input is, and then we'll do what we got to do. I hear you. I was wondering what, because uh, if y'all ain't see from my last few videos, we've been seeing this police chamberly. Or whatever. I was wondering which state that was. And it's looking like it's the state of Georgia. Because I see him by the tag. Yeah, you see? Georgia. So this is uh, in Georgia. This is Georgia police. After consulting with the supervisor, the officer decided to arrest the maintenance crew. Um, I'm about to put three in the custody. Just want to give you a heads up. Let's do this. Let's, um, don't bring the van all the way in. Because it's the maintenance workers, and I don't want them to, uh, kind of get spooked out. Because, yeah, you want me to meet you there? Yeah, yeah, I'll meet you at the church, and then we'll come up to the front office, and then I'll have that lady call all the maintenance men back to the front office, and then we'll do what we got to do there. Damn, I'm about to get locked up so, yeah, for I'm the wrong stuff, the bro. All right, perfect. One by one, the crew members were called into the leasing office and apprehended. Hello. I'm back again. Can we get all three to this office one at a time, please? Do you take care of those first? You take your pick. Okay. In case somebody goes to jail today, can I have them take off their gray star uniforms so that they don't have mug shots with our company name on them? Whoa. Um, we can make that request. It just depends. <laughs> Damn, well, she she bought somebody gets fired, bro. And she knows she messed up. I don't know if she don't want to have caught the shots, but look at her face. She just knows she messed up because y'all should never do that, bro. And then she's just, she's standing on business. Like, if somebody goes to jail today, we taking that gray uniform off because, yeah, they get fired. <laughs> I'll complain they want to be because they are. Oh, I'm going to jail today. Okay. All three. Okay. Um... 
Uh, Don't let them know that. No, 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 no. Uh, if, if and when you notify them that they're going to be arrested, can we'll request at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yep. Thank you very much. Not a problem. Um, we we want to somehow get the residents' belongings back to him. Okay. Um. So I know where. Because I I personally just spoke with all of them and they did. Oh, they did. I, I know where his bed. Because so as an far. employer, I had to open up that dialogue because we need to take action on our end as well. Yeah. So, um... I know as far as his bed and sofa goes, he's like, I don't want that back. Because, okay. <laughs> you know... That's a bad one. Right. right. Um, that hurts. Okay. I think the big thing that he's really looking for is yeah. his MacBook. Okay. I know... Oh, which... Okay. They took a MacBook? Huh. Yeah, lock him up. Lock him up. Took a MacBook and a TV, bro. Lock him up. Okay. Is MIA right now. No. Only one person confessed to me mm -hmm. and what they took. Gotcha. And so the stuff that they took, stuff that he doesn't really want back, but his MacBook right now. Yeah. And so he's working on actually logging into his Apple ID. Yeah. And trying to see who got it. Because a ring camera had been mentioned. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just, okay. it was in a bag. And so it's oh, hard to say okay. Okay. who had the bag. But no, it, you see clear as day, mattress, yeah. a TV, yeah. everything. Yeah. And, David is coming. Okay. And what I'll actually do too is I'll give you my business card with the case number on it. And then I'll give you my business card as well. That way you make questions. Perfect. Do that a minute too. Yeah, I'll put James behind your back for me, all right? Yeah. Yes, sir. So they're requesting that we take this shirt off. Do you have a shirt on underneath? I need to go change it. Let's get the tank top. Let's go. Nah, you ain't gotta worry about it. Palms together. Damn, bro. Why they lock him up, bro? I feel like he don't have nothing to do with it. Like, well, not nothing to do with it. I keep saying nothing to do with it. He clearly did have something to do with it. But I'm saying, bro, he's like, he said he's 43, bro. Like, he's just trying to feed his family, bro. And it just happened to be the day that he lost his job and go to jail. Because, you know what I'm saying? Just of a simple mistake that happens to be done by the supervisor crew. Oh, go get this, go get that. You feel me? But it's like. The other two guys, bro, what y'all did with the TV and the MacBook? That big guy, he's definitely going to jail because you on camera is still in the big TV, but you saying you don't have it. He might be off like in the next few days, you know what I'm saying? He's probably going to go in the interrogation room for a little bit and, you know, let them know what's up and then he's going to be released. The other one that said he didn't have nothing to do with it, the big one, he's, he's getting some time probably. Yes, Give me one second, I'm gonna tell you exactly why. No, sir. Hey, right now, you're being placed on the rest of burglary. Sorry, did you say that again? Burglary. Yes, sir. Damn, bro. <laughs> I've done that, but he's past that point right now. He came home and all his stuff was gone. Do you have anything on you that you know about? Weapons, knives. Okay, brother. Damn, bro. Do me a favor. Go right up here. And just. You can stand in here. He about to arrest him one by one, cuz. So he. Mm -hmm. No, you're fine. Are you putting in the incident report that the resident only wants a natural back? Um, I can't. And I'll confirm with him about what property he really wants to get back. I know 
the big thing that he mentioned when we were there was his MacBook. I can ask him. Yeah, we would love. Mm -hmm. we want Once to we get, you know, all this, and then, I get it. Because um, he's still outside. Okay. okay. And so I'll let him. Okay. He's, he's been level headed given yeah. the circumstances. Yeah, I, 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 um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll send him in and then no, no, you guys can talk. And, and we'll try to make it right however best we can. Yeah, sounds good. So call the next one. Mm -hmm. He's on his way. He didn't answer my phone calls. Yep, I see him over there. All right. Give me a favor. Put your hands on your back. Yes, sir. Do you have a shirt on underneath? Yeah, let me take it off. All right, go ahead. Yeah. He already knew it, son. He like, let me take it off. Now, do you really have something to do with it? Because you wouldn't be so willingly happy to take the shirt off. Because it's like he already knew what's up, you know? He already knew you was gonna arrest it too, cuz. <laughs> you don't have a shirt on under it? Alright. We can just palms together. I'll let you handle that. If I need you. How many cuffs this man got? <laughs> Take your hand. There you go. I'm trying not to pinch you, but there you go. Look. Yeah, that's good. We'll get to that. I got you. Even in handcuffs, they pleaded with the officer. They asked him to speak with the victim, hoping to find a way out of arrest. What's that? What's that? I gotta confirm. I think it's a felony though. What? Burglary. I don't have my phone. It's in the car. Hmm? The victim wants to, not me. I, I, I did talk to him. I did talk to him. I did. And he is too. I know, but we couldn't talk to him. What? Bro, this is a Okay, so, so, we'll do this. My partner left to go get the van. Once he get back here, I'll go talk with the bitch because he's still here, and and we'll, we'll go from there. All right. I got you. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll. People work. Adam, like he really, because I mean, you got you came home all your shit gone. How would you feel? I, I ain't saying, but I don't keep up with our residents. No, no, I'm talking about your personal house. You came home all your stuff gone. You'd be mad. Yeah, but it's not a rectified situation. Right. But like I said, that wasn't offered. You know what I'm saying? When I spoke to everybody individually, nobody said, hey, let me talk to them. Let me try to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but the thing was, you offered his bag. You don't want his bag back. It's already been gone in somebody else's house. Talk to the door. So I can only do one thing at a time. I'm sick right here. Got you. And then we go from there. 
trying to be good and get me some of it, but you, you know, in the prison. So nothing, you know, I'll break out. You want headphones? Just to make sure. I know. Okay. This is it. It's on him. He's a victim. Right. I can't do the nobles without the victims can let them work. So you can't bring him in so you can talk to him? I can't bring him in. No, I can't do that. But I can go talk to him. Yeah. Okay. I can't. I can't just leave out here. Go. No, it's liability, man. It's, it's I can't. I can't. <laughs> Not that way. It don't work that way. All right, I'm trying to make you catch before you leave. He not. Oh, he not leaving. He not. He he he, he been here for an hour, thirty something. I was just talking to him. He didn't need that time. Sure. And he got down to put somebody out illegally, and he had me some shit. So. And I'll, again, talk to him. I got you. Right. I don't got no more stress. I can't get no more Like my little clean. I ain't no more stress. I'm dead. You tell me what you're trying to say about me. I'm not saying that. You tell me what you're trying to say about me. I'm not saying that. 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 I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. I don't know how to say it. I don't I've been doing this for some time. I started young, man. I started doing this when I was real young. Yeah, I was a young man. I was around 19 at first. And I don't know. So I just tell that man, but I still ain't gonna... I got you. You know what I'm saying? You know, I got you. Know, man. Look, look, I wasn't presented this earlier. When I asked, when I talked to everybody individually, certain things were offered to be returned, but... I'm, let me finish. But who want a bed back after somebody, another man who slept in it? I mean, he was stuck in the bed for five months. Right. But I'm saying, I offered, I said, hey, look, I got this and this file. So he's going to the rest of the Just stand by real quick. Now he's gone. I'll be right back. See litigation? What you mean? Like a lawyer? So, like a civil suit? Yeah. yeah. What, what do I do to do that? Uh, you will contact a lawyer, mm -hmm. um, a civil lawyer, or a criminal one if you want to go. The officer informed the victim of the crew's explanations. Despite their pleas, the victim chose to press charges. Huh? Can you see litigation? What you mean? Like a lawyer? So, uh, like a civil suit? Yeah. Yeah. What, what do I do to do that? Uh, you will contact a lawyer, mm -hmm. um, a civil lawyer, or a criminal one if you want to go through the criminal courts to do it, explain the situation, um, give them a copy of the police report, which is going to take about three to five days, okay. and then they'll read the report, they'll go over the facts with you, and then y'all go from there. How do I get the report? Um, on my business card? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Um, see the front? This is for the police department. You can go there, give them that case number. They can give you a copy of it. Or if you call that number, the front desk, I believe that they were emailing them during COVID. I think they might still be, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. So I've been sent out here to try to talk to you by the gentleman inside, mm -hmm. by the maintenance crew. 
they they want me to plead their case for you to, for them to you about listen I I know but I'm a man of my word like the same same way you know what I'm saying vice versa um they said they can get your stuff back I'll get your stuff back but try to see if there's anything you'd be willing to do for them not to get arrested today sound good I'm a man of my word was I remember I told you that earlier all right if they would ask me something I I present it to them same way if you would say hey look just tell them I get my my stuff back. Um, you know that's it. But uh, privacy, no, they tell you respect. I don't expect you to take it, and I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just saying, they ask me to do it. I'm gonna do it. Um, also too, the regional manager is inside. She wants to know if you wanted to talk to them about anything or. Okay. Um, uh, perfect. See, we're catching on. Appreciate it. He not here. No. He not. No. Why not? Feeling like he was violated. That's what he said. It was an invasion of his privacy. <laughs> All right. And he will be in front of me. This goofy, bro. All you had to do was go around. Okay. Ultimately, all three suspects were charged with first-degree burglary and transported to the DeKalb County Jail. That was the end of the video, man. If y'all made this far, don't forget to smash that thumbs up, share the video, and subscribe, and comment down below what kind of reaction y'all want to see, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. Peace. Hey, yo, KJ, man,